With a single press of an on-screen button, the CISO Modes of Operation feature allows you to set the boat's entire electrical system to suit the boat's usage. Locate and press the Modes icon, which can be found on the menu bar at the bottom of your screen. Then simply touch the mode of operation that you'd like to enable, then press the On button. In this example, the user has selected Cruise Mode. By enabling Cruise Mode, the vessel's electrical system will be set to support the vessel while it's away from dock, ensuring circuits such as refrigeration, toilets and navigation systems are turned on and ready for use. Moving between modes is easily achieved. Simply touch the next mode of operation, then press the On button. Modes of operation can be further customised to suit your requirements. Talk to your electrician or dealer about how to do this. The C-Zone displays can also be used to control individual circuits. Circuits can be turned on and off, or lighting circuits dimmed, all at the press of an on-screen button. To access the circuit control, press the control icon on the menu bar at the bottom of your screen. Next, select the power group which the circuit belongs to, then press the group name that best represents the circuit that is to be controlled. Select the chosen circuit, then press the on button on the left hand side of the screen to control the circuit. The green status indicator next to the circuit name will illuminate to indicate the circuit has been switched on. The device being switched will turn on instantaneously with the press of the button. The circuit control page contains other useful information about the circuit. As well as displaying the circuit's on-off status, the page indicates if a timer is active, what the current draw is, and if there is a fault present, such as a short circuit. Timer counters show how many times a circuit has been activated, and what the total on time has been. To turn a circuit back off again, simply press the off button, and the circuit will turn off immediately. Unless a timer delay has been set, or if a lighting circuit has been set to fade out gradually. The C-Zone monitoring pages present the user with information on the boat's systems. Information such as power and tank levels are presented clearly on any of the C-Zone colour displays. To access the monitoring pages, press the monitoring icon on the menu bar at the bottom of your screen. Select a monitoring group from the list of headings. In this case, DC monitoring has been selected in order to access the DC battery level information. Select from any of the battery names to view more detailed information. Battery voltage, charge or discharge amperage, and capacity remaining data is presented on this page. Other useful information such as minimum and maximum battery level data can be found here also. Data is displayed in both analog and digital forms to suit your preference. At any time the back arrow will take the user back to the previous screen. The tank section presents level data for the onboard storage tanks. The current tank levels are shown as a percentage remaining and in bar graph form. The data can be presented in metric or imperial units. The total capacity of the tank is also shown here. C-Zone can be set up to display other useful data, such as pressures and temperatures. In this example, the display has been set up to show the outside temperature. A favourites page can be set up to display the user's most viewed data sources. A favourites page can be set up to conveniently show the user's most commonly viewed data sources all on one page. The setup for this can be found under settings. Audible alarms can also be set up to inform the user of important events such as low fuel levels or high battery voltages. In the unlikely event that a circuit cannot be controlled by the C-Zone system, an override feature provides the user with the ability to bypass the C-Zone system and manually control the circuit. To access the bypass feature, locate the output module which the circuit is controlled by. The circuit can be identified by a label on the lid of the box. In this example, the user is going to bypass the cabin light's forward circuit. The label on the box shows that this is output number 3. Make a note of the circuit number, and then remove the cover of the output module as shown. This will expose the bypass fuses. Before removing or placing the fuse into the bypass position, ensure that the immediate area is free of flammable or explosive vapours as the removal or replacement of the fuse can create a potential ignition source for explosive vapours. Next, remove the fuse from the normal operating position and place into the bypass position. In this position, the circuit has constant fused power supplied to it. If the circuit needs to be turned off, then the fuse needs to be removed. Replace the cover as shown, ensuring the rubber boot is inserted correctly as the lid and boot prevents water and dust from entering the module. And remember to return the fuse back to its normal operating position 
once the system is up and functioning again.